Hello guys and welcome for another New World video. As we all know, New World is currently into hibernation and this unfortunately will continue up until the middle of October when the global release for consoles will hit the market. Of course, this will only happen if there are no further delays, which by chance is the biggest mistake and weakness of AGS. But let's leave those things aside and let's take a quick look at what can be done in this period of time. For the new players, it might be a good time to learn the game and to understand the idea behind crafting and gearing so they can prepare themselves for the next big chapter. For the already existing players, even though low numbers, it is definitely a good time for more people to participate in wars as a lot of previous war players left the scene. And then comes the question. What should I do in the game while waiting for October? I technically did everything starting from PvE to PvP as a solo player to being a regular war player and at the same time collecting rare items. Well, as you can imagine, there is not much else for me to do in the game apart from one and only thing. And yes, of course, those are the achievements. I've mentioned that I'm focusing on achieving the maximum possible percentage of achievements in the game. And to be fair, this is my dumbest idea I've ever had. The amount of repeatable and boring quests is out of this world stupid, but as in many other things, if I want to achieve something, I simply go and I try to do it. While achieving one of those ludicrous achievements, and more specifically to catch the 10,000 fish, I managed to get all the boxes as you can see in the background. Well, now is the time to open all those boxes and once and for all we're gonna answer the question, are they even worth it and when you try to catch some fish, is the box an actual better reward? So that's about it guys, now I'm gonna start opening boxes and thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. And seems like we will not have enough space, so just to make sure that we have enough space, I think I will remove the ores, or whatever that should be it, because we have 2635 of them. Uh, you can actually see what we got from the almost all of the boxes. So as you can see, quite a lot of cooking different uh, materials. A lot of those trash uh, items that actually can be salvaged into basic materials and then used for, of course, progression or crafting. Uh, we have quite a lot of gear pieces, of course, the 
definition of the best piece is if you have Lucky Waters tree, but this, however, it's not so easy to get. And as you can see, I only have four purple pieces and all of them are with Lucky Waters too. But it could be that on the, uh, on the blue items somewhere, there could be a potential Lucky Waters tree, but I will not go over all of them, of course. Uh, and then we have a lot, a lot, a lot of music recipes, which I believe are not in a use to anyone. And I think I got some of the patterns, but probably they are down here next to the pigments, as you can see as well, because we have quite a lot of them. And we also have, those are the resources. We have some gems, but we are yet to open a lot of chests now for gems. So probably I can do this. I can drop all of the, um, all of the, notes like all of the songs and we can probably salvage this and we can probably salvage this and probably this and this and let's salvage as well this and let's see oh my god i have now when i salvage that i have 4943 iron ingots next to 2000 coarse leather next to 4200 fibers and 9000 trees that's huge that's even bigger than what i usually have okay let me continue opening the other boxes because i i think that i will not be able to move from here for quite a while uh can we actually continue opening probably not <laughs> oh actually we can we can we can still still going actually i thought that i won't be able to probably some of the materials will end up on the ground but at this stage of the game i don't really care so much I am just curious what I will see after opening those boxes. Of course, the basic materials doesn't mean that much to me as I already farmed myself enough to have all the professions and all the different gathering and refining skills. So it's not that big of an issue. Of course, if you want to min max, you can always do a little bit of selling and buying. So you might make some profit. But of course, like I said, it's just to see what those boxes give. So last 10 boxes, I think that those were the Arcana ones. As we can see on the top, it says Sunken Mode Cargo. Um, of course, we get more, um, you know, songs because we are actually a band. And this is the, the, the Arcana, let's say, box. Uh, it's not so wild as the other, like, basic materials. But yeah, that's about it, guys. You technically get a lot of basic raw materials or, let's say, second stage materials as the leather. Uh, with which you can either continue processing your own trade skills or you can just sell them on the market for a good profit. So that's it. Thank you for watching. And I will probably make another video when I decide to cook all the legendary fish because believe me, I catch quite a lot of them as well. So have a nice one. Have a nice summer. And uh, I will see you in the next video, guys.